Hi everyone, I have made my tutorial all about Google Keep. In order to show you all of the features this app has to offer, I will be demonstrating from my mobile device. Once you have downloaded Keep from the Google Play Store, iStore, or the internet, Keep can be found in your menu or your Google account looking like this. Consider Google Keep to be your new green version of Post-it Notes. The icon for the app is even a Post-it Note. With a clean interface and a few nifty features, you and your students can organize your thoughts, notes, memos, and even pictures. Let's get started. There are five ways that you can take a note. The first is the quick note feature. This is helpful for making note of sudden thoughts, a new artist, or maybe an unknown term that you and your students would like to look up later. Once you are done your post-it, simply click Done, and it will be added to your post-it wall. The second is standard note-taking. Here you can enter in as much text as you want. Word on the street is there is an unlimited character limit, so encourage students to use this note to type out their creative writing assignment while on the way home or make a draft of their science experiment. You can also change the background color of your post-it by clicking on the palette and choosing any color you like. The third type of note is the list-it note. Here, you guessed it, is for making lists. This is helpful for students to make a checklist of their homework, a chores list, or maybe even a grocery list. Once you check off an item in your list, it will be moved to the checked area below, also being crossed off. You can also view your list from the main page of Google Keep instead of clicking on the note itself. The fourth type of note is the voice note. This allows you to dictate a note out loud. Voice note can be helpful for when you are in an environment where typing might be a hassle. Because I am making the tutorial, I cannot demonstrate the voice note, so I have made one beforehand. Don't forget to blog. As you can see, the audio has been automatically saved and we can listen to it later. The fifth type of note is the picture note. Once you click on your camera, take a photo, you can take a picture of whatever you want to be saved for later. This is, a, this is great if you want a visual aid or want to remember what you saw. You can also add text to your picture. Students may be inspired by something they saw on the way to school and want to make their own version in a later art piece. You can arrange your notes in a variety of different ways, by either dragging with your mouse on the computer or holding down on a note on your mobile device. Simply drag it to wherever you want to relocate it. Your notes can appear in either a multi-column view, like we see now, or in a single column view. You can also delete notes or save and archive them for later by clicking on the folder. One aspect that I love about this tool is the integration with Google Drive. If you made a note on your mobile device, you can find that note in your Google account on the computer. You can also leave new notes in Google and they will be synced to the mobile app. Not only do I find this handy, but I'm sure students would find this app handy as well because they can see and be reminded of their notes in more than one spot. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this app helpful.